Can you tell us, like, give us the, the brief history of how you became such an elite athlete, where you started, what activities you did in school, just how you built up to where you are today and to winning Olympic medals. When I first started, when I, when I was a kid, I was guess I was just doing any sports my parents kind of got me involved in or I showed any interest in. So, I mean, I was... I, I was swimming, I was playing soccer, lacrosse, softball, basketball, gymnastics, dance, like I'd, I'd done it all, but I would have considered myself for like most of my childhood, swimming, lacrosse and soccer were my, my main go to sports. And then somewhere in high school, I decided, well, like lacrosse really, I, I don't know, I didn't feel passionately about it anymore. And it just wasn't having the same enjoyment. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll run track to stay in shape for soccer in the fall. And that was, that was the plan at that point. And then I'm from Maryland. So small state just to keep, keep that in mind, but I won States my first year, um, right. Running track and ultimately never made it onto the soccer field again, because it kind of went from doing spring track to cross country to spring track, cross country, outdoor track or indoor track. I mean, and when I went looking for like universities, it was looking for ones I could swim at, looking for ones I could run at, looking for ones I could run and swim at. And I just like kind of keeping everything open. And I had done, that was actually when I did my first triathlon was right after graduating from high school. And I did it with my dad and it was a father's day triathlon that just really local, really low key. He, I have two other sisters and he wanted, he said he wanted to do it and he wanted, he wanted one of us to do it with him for, for father's day. And so I, I, I came to be that person (laughs) and um, it was really cool because like he had to learn how to, like, after I said, yes, he had to learn how to swim. So then I was like helping him in the pool, like trying to, trying to, help his stroke a little bit and he's watching YouTubes, but it was, it was like a really, especially now it's very special, um, special memories for me. But I found out way later, I don't know, he, he had a little bit of, uh, different, (laughs) different motives, I guess, because he had identified via some friends that I also might be good at triathlon at that point, but I had like no idea, like this wasn't anything he, voice to me until much later so for me I was like oh I'm just doing something with my dad and uh which I think is a very sneaky way of doing it but also I'm I'm all for that parenting (laughs) that parenting way um so like when I went to college I just went thinking oh like I decided to go to Syracuse University I was running uh division one for the orange um I did I did really well like I our, our cross country team came in 10th at nationals. I competed in nationals at steeplechase. And um, during that time, Barb Lindquist from the collegiate recruitment program of USA triathlon contacted me asking if I'd be interested in triathlon. And that was like the main way I got into triathlon was her uh, and her program via, I guess my dad, some coworkers of my dad, my coach from college, like, telling her to contact me. Um, and so when she came at me with that, that possibility, I still had a year left of eligibility, but, um, I just kind of started, started dabbling in it. And I really got lucky with the timing of the collegiate recruitment program really developing and giving me a lot more opportunities than any other collegiate recruitment program athletes had because of Gwen, mostly (laughs) Gwen Jorgensen. Uh, So then that became me deciding, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. I got an opportunity to go to the Olympic Training Center and train there full time with a few other athletes and um, just really support like I I never had to be the struggling triathlete, (laughs) like because I was really given the resources um, and given a shot from, from the very beginning of triathlon even coming into my life. So I feel super fortunate as I know that's not the, that's not the case for all of us. But um, what about the bike? I mean, it sounds like you were a, a, a good swimmer from little, but you were a good runner, obviously, but what about cycling? I mean, I rode around my neighborhood for, for, for <laughs> like, as, a, as a child growing up. I, so the, the whole like theory for the collegiate recruitment program is really that if you recruit a division one runner who has a background in swimming, um, you can teach them how to ride a bike. 
<laughs> and so um, that was, and they did the same thing with um, division one swimmers to have a background in running. So it was mainly that they believed the bike could be picked up on. And in my initial races, like I could tell it was strong, but um, as for like knowing how to ride a bike in a group on a, on a technical course, that was, that's been a learning experience for the entirety of my career. And I would say I've never got into the point of feeling like I would say I'm like a thousand percent like comfortable or it's something I can stop working on. It's something I continue working on every single year. But um, I did feel like the strength was there and we had over the years, like, so this is what, like nine years <laughs> over like that amount of time. I've worked with a lot of different people and have done a lot of group rides to, because the group rides, just like the local group rides are really a great way. If you find a safe one to really work on those skills and it's the most race simulation that I ever get, because even though it's not like a technical course, it's the, like, you these people are not like helping you <laughs> to, to do anything. It's like every man for themselves pretty much or and woman. <laughs> and it was the most motivating things I ever felt like, because I would just try, I like, it was with a group of mostly men just trying not to get dropped. 